Hello. Hi. Whee! They didn't just come for a race. They came for their place in history. A 50-person horse suit race that would bring a nation not to a standstill, but certainly to a dawdle. It was the race that slows down the nation. Around this country track in Wedderburn, Australia, a town of only 500 people, destiny awaited. Registration began early and it was clear that the race had attracted the cream of the horse suit racing industry. Maybe we've got Pumper the Wonder Horse. He is the greatest horse from North Queensland, the fastest fake horse from the Mackay Airport Beach Horse Racing Festival. Uh, training, I want to say training. I've watched a lot of Black Caviar videos. Yeah, some incredibly proud parents, as you can imagine. Um, and then, yeah, fiance, who's uh, very keen for me to win the hamper. Um, so, yeah, everyone's, uh, everyone's watching pretty closely. Spirits were high as event organisers delivered some final notes to competitors. Obviously, Jessica Malboy then sings the uh, national anthem, which we'll all really respect. And then she sings the national anthem of R&B, which is Genuine's Pony. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> At that stage, there will be one after two minutes of sexy dancing. Yes, yes. That has a medical reason. That's to limber you guys up. I see a lot of hip movement. Yes, with the most important note given, it was time for a final gladiatorial push into the arena. We couldn't believe the turnout. Thousands of horse suit racing fans had travelled from all around Australia keen to get a glimpse of their favourite runner. This really is one of the greatest sporting spectacles. I mean, no offence to the grand final parade, but suck it. And once at the track, the nerves were apparent on all competitors. Well, well not really all of them. Some were handling it pretty well. Race time was soon upon us. The horses were taken to the line by their strappers, the two-person horses, 200 metres ahead. Emotions ran high as competitor Jessica Malboy took to the stage to sing the national anthem. She then followed up with the official warm-up song for the horse racing industry, Pony by Genuine. And boy did they get limber. With competitors and race organisers now ready, the starter's honk was only seconds away with race caller Matt standing by for the biggest call of his life. So they're set for a start. The 7,000 strong crowd waited with bated breath. The horses were focused. All their individual lives had merely been a preamble for this moment of sporting history. And one would become immortal. Or at the very least, get a great hamper. Ah! They're off now. Making a clean getaway out of the one man suits is Gazelle. Showing good speed here is Harry Trotter. It's one of the two man suits. Showing some good pace also is Far Out as they come into the back. So Far Out's got a good break here. They're followed then by Fartlap, who's next in the field. Further back then came A. Bernie. So let's catch up with these leaders now. And going strongly out in front is Far Out. And it leads the way. Then starting to make some ground, the first of the one-man suits, and that is Gazelle, and he's really going after the two-man suit leaders. Next in the field, starting to tire there was leg throw Lenny as they're coming off the back straight. They've got half a lap to go, and the leader is Far Out. It's out on a long, long lead here, Far Out, as they come up towards the home turn here. As they turn for the home straight, it looked like one of the two-man suits had it in the bag, and then, through the dust, Came stall gift winner Murray. And given he had won a stall gift, it shouldn't really have been much of a surprise. What a finish! The corners, and there's also another one coming out of the pack. Might be stall gift winner. And also making ground is Red Eye Rifle Man. But stall gift winner had charged to the front. Halfway down the straight, he's raced away. And stall gift winner is going to be a horse race suit champion. Well, so we thought until this illegal horse jumped on the track. But once he was cleared away and everyone forgot about that, it was all about Murray. The first and so far only winner of the race that slows down the nation. Well done. Did you knew you had it in you? Uh, no, <laughs> not at any stage. All the competitors had covered themselves in glory and in return they were gifted moist towelettes. Never said any branded, limited edition. But it was Murray who was crowned the champion.